Hello everyone, thank you for joining on my another live stream today. So today is the 6th of August 2020 on Thursday. So I hope you're having a great day today. I just came back home uh, because um, I had to meet my accountant. So uh, pretty much I was outside all day long and just came back so I wasn't able to screen the pairs on my watch list. So um, yeah, so let's do it all together. All right, so good to see everyone. Thank you for joining as well. All right, so let's see who's here first. And I can see Josie here, AJ, X96, thank you for joining. And Arukadi and Vincent, um, Bugsy, Jeroen, Melanie, Aditya, and Fabio. Thank you for joining everyone. Good to see you. All right, so for those who, who are new to my channel, my name is Kay, and I am a full-time Forex trader. Who is based in Tokyo, Japan. I've been taking trades for the last seven years and this is the main source of income for myself. So, and this is my YouTube channel and um, I have a, uh, I talk about different topics every day and today is the Thursday. So, on every Thursdays and Tuesdays I talk about Ichimoku uh, basic lectures. So that's why today's lecture will be pretty much focused on the Ichimoku five lines and other theories. So Wednesdays and Fridays I talk about my own strategy. So I, uh, I talk to talk about market and introduce how I capture trends and how I take trades. Uh, more pr practical uh, type of uh, lectures will be given on Wednesdays and Fridays whereas Tuesdays and Thursdays are more towards Ichimoku basics and Ichimoku lectures. So I've been studying for uh, I've been, I have been studying Ichimoku for the last uh, five years, and from these original books I w I'm reading through. And actually, I was in the cafe uh, this afternoon, and I was reading through this uh, Ichimoku original book. And every time I read the book, I learn something new. So that's how deep these books are. I have the five books of uh, Ichimoku that is available in public in Japan now and these are only in uh, Japanese unfortunately and I don't think I will translate in English because there's a copyright but you can get uh, the deep knowledge of Ichimoku when you join my Ichimoku community so I have two services and one is Ichimoku community this is the monthly subscription and I have the Ichimoku Discord and Ichimoku Lectures every uh, every week I have it. And also, you can get the Ichimoku Basic Master Book that I wrote as one of the perks to join. So based on these original books, I wrote the Ichimoku Basic Master Book to master five lines. And I'm working on the second book that is actually about three theories of Ichimoku. Wave and price and time theories. So, if you're interested in more deeper knowledge of Ichimoku, please uh, feel free to join. And when you see the join button on the YouTube, that's where you can join. So just click on that one, and this is a monthly subscription. But once you join it, then you can come to the community tab, and you will see the link to Discord where you can see all the perks. So this is one of the uh, one of the, uh, the services that I do. And the other one is the DTS, and this is the Global Trading School. And actually, the the GTS is uh, taking place every uh, every three months, and so the next one will be uh, on October. Between October and December will be the next uh, season. So um, yeah, so this is relatively close, uh, up to five members, and this is my hands-on teaching based on my own strategy called KTS Case Trading Strategy and also money management and lot sizing uh, calculators and so on. So, all right, so before starting anything here, um, just as a disclaimer, all this knowledge is based on my own experience. So when you take trades, please do at your own risks. So I was looking at the market today and I see some good trends, right? Uh, so the ones, that are on my watch list is actually on these ones on the left and because these are the currency pairs that I usually take trades. So today I see a EURUSD and EURJPY, GPPUSD 
And uh, yeah, GBPJPY, uh, daily chart is beautiful uptrend, and USDJPY is also up, and USDCAD downtrending, uh, AUDJPY uptrending, and AUDUST to be uptrending now. So um, I just wanted to address the importance, right, the basic importance of Ichimoku today. And that's why the title says the philosophy and the concept of Ichimoku. So, um, just as I introduced on the Ichimoku part 1 to 5 series of videos, uh, Ichimoku is originally created in Japan. And uh, this was actually created by uh, the person whose name is Goichi Hosoda, who's uh, well known as uh, Ichimoku Sanjin, as his uh, pen name. But um, he was actually an, a great analyst, and also he himself was a great trader uh, back in uh, early uh, 1900s in, in Japan. So um, actually he was um, looking at the chart, and he studied uh, the chart every day. He was uh, doing him, uh, analysis by himself, and he found one thing, that the market is either buy or sell. And that was a true backbone of Ichimoku. So when you look at this market right now, everybody can see that this is uptrending because the price is going up. And not only this is going up, the highs, sorry, hold on. The lows are getting higher. Oops, uh, all right, so yeah, so lows. So when you look at the chart, uh, there is a wave to the market. So no market straightly goes up or it doesn't straight go down. Uh, there is a wave. There are waves in the market. So when you look at the, this uh, uptrend, for example, you see the lows and you see the highs. Right? So these are the highs and these are the lows. And when you look at the lows, first of all, the lows are getting higher and higher. Right? The lows are getting higher and higher. And this is uptrend. Right? This is uptrend. And also, when you look at the highs, these are renewed higher also. The highs are re renewed higher, higher highs. So simply, this is the definition of uptrend of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. Um, so yeah, this is a basic, right? This is the basic of the wave pattern and how Ichimoku counts the wave also. So there is a you know wave analysis called the Elliott wave, and I used to use it, but not anymore. I'm stick to uh, Ichimoku wave analysis now. But um, I think the concept is basically the same, right? As long as the price keeps going up, this is uptrend. And if it goes down, that's downtrend. Simply, right, simply. So from here, when you look at the past on this chart, from here, the price has been going down. And when you look at the highs, these were renewed lower, right? And the lows are renewed lower too. So this was a downtrend up to this candlestick. Up to this day, uh, on this uh, 19th of March, it was downtrend, right? Due to COVID-19, it was downtrend. And after eight, uh, after 19th of uh, March this year, it turned to be uptrending now. And so how you can visually capture the uptrend downtrend is basically these four lines of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So these four lines were actually, hold on, sorry. Uh, things are popping up today, sorry about that. So um, yeah, the lower part of Kumo is called Senko Span B, and upper part of the Kumo is called Senko Span A. Okay, and the green one in my chart setting is the Kijun Sen, and the blue one is called the Tenkan Sen. Okay, so when you see the Tenkan Sen move up, that means that the market is bullish in the short term. When you see Kijun Sen move up, that shows that the market is uptrend in the midterm. And when you see Senko Span B up, that shows that the market is bullish uptrend in the long term. So short term Tenkan Sen, mid term Kijun Sen, and long term Senko Span B. I think that's clear so far, right? I think this is a basic. So 
uh, as Goichi Hosoda says, he says that the um, market is either uptrend, downtrend, or range. Either one of these, right? Uh, there is no other, like, uh, other scenarios. Like, when you look at the chart, so when you look at the chart by Ichimoku especially, uh, you need to be, be able to identify whether the market is uptrend or downtrend or range. Because the market should be either one of these. Right, uh, whichever time frames look at, it should either one of these in the market. So I think uh, that's pretty much the basic. But um, I just wanted to address that. And Ichimoku is as it, as the name itself, uh, you know, uh, explains. Um, Ichimoku means the at a glance, and Kinko means equilibrium, and Hyo means um, the graph. Or, uh, yeah, the graph or chart in Japanese. So, if you want to master Ichimoku and if you use Ichimoku in the chart, then you can, at a glance, identify whether the market is uptrend or downtrend in the short to mid to long term. So, currently, when you look at it closer, um, hold on. So, when you look at it closer, uh, what would you see is that the um, you can see that the price is first of all above the Tenkan Sen, right? The price is above the Tenkan Sen, so simply that means the current market on this AUD uh, AUD USD daily chart shows uptrend in the short to mid to long term, simply by looking at the location, right? So the current price location is above the blue Tenkan Sen and above the green Kijun Sen and above this Senko Span B, right? It's obvious. So simply speaking, this shows that the market is buy biased in the market in all terms. So let's take a look at uh, other pair, uh, CADJPY. So on this CADJPY also, um, the price is above the Kumo, Right above the Senko Span B, above the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen also. So this is another buy bias market. Right, buyers are dominant now. Buyers are dominant. All right, and just looking at other pair. All right, so G, uh, Euro GBP, right? Euro GBP daily chart right now. What do you see is that the um, currently the price is in the Kumo now. And technically, the current price level is actually on this uh, blue line right here. And you can see that the price is above the Senko Span B. Right, the lower part is called Senko Span B when it's when the Kumo is bullish. So currently, the price is above the Senko Span B. So in the long term, this is buy biased. By short to mid term, this is sell biased. All right, so. Simply speaking, this is downtrend, or sellers are dominant in the short to midterm, but buyers are still dominant in the long term. Yep. Okay. So that's simply, uh, you know, what uh, Ichimoku offers to you. And also, you can take the uh, Chikou span. Right, Chikou span is another unique line of Ichimoku. Because uh, this is just shifted 26 candles backwards, so let me start talk about each uh, talk about Chikou span now. So coming back to the USDCAD, um, hold on, no, not the USDCAD, AUD USD. Currently, um, you can see that the Chikou span is above the candles, right? The Chikou span is a yellow one. In my chart setting, the Chikou span is a yellow one. And you can see that the Chikou span is currently above these candles. So that simply means that the market is bullish. And the essence of Chikou span is that the um, uh, we can compare the past chart, I mean uh, the current market to the past chart. So once again, Chikou span is just shifted 26 candles backwards and it takes the close price. So this is exactly the same as the line chart, 
but it just shifted 20, 26 candles backwards, including current candle. So when you measure it, um, simply, right? When you measure this, uh, the um, um, current um, candlestick is here. So whenever you count it, make sure you include the current candle and count forward backwards. So when you count this one and goes backwards this way, then you see that this is 26 bars here, right? It says 26 bars. So now you see that uh, the Chikosman is shifted backwards 26 candles, exactly, including current candle. If I exclude the current candle, it's going, it's going to go like this, right? Uh, it doesn't count this candle as one, but you have to start counting from this one. And this is only 25, 25 bars, so this is not the correct way to count. So, yeah, if you include today's candle or current candle as one, you have to start counting. You have to uh, start uh, one candle, you know, one candlestick in the, to the future, and you start drag so that it includes current candle as one and move forward like this, uh, shift forward, uh, shift backwards like this. So, as you can see, including current candle, Chikou span is shifted 26 candles backwards now. And the same in uh, Kumo too. Uh, there's a Senko span AB, uh, called uh, uh, a Kumo here, the zone between Senko span AB uh, is called Kumo. And Kumo is actually shifted 26 candles forward. So there you go. You can see th there is a there are 26 bars from the current candle to this kumo, including current candlestick. So that's a very important concept of ichimoku. And at the same time, it's kind of tricky. But uh, yeah, this is how you count, and this is how the chiko span is actually drawn here. So it's shifted. 26 candles backwards, including today's candlestick. And so, what is it for, right? You may wonder, it just shifted 26 backwards, so what, right? So, and to answer that, um, you need to see the location of Chikou Span to the candlestick as of now. So, as long as Chikou Span is above the candles, that means this is buy biased still. Right, because for those who bought in the past for the last 26 bars, they are winning. And that's what shows the Chikou Span here. Simply, when the Chikou Span above the candle, that means that those who bought for the last 26 candles are winning now. They are winning, right? So, what would you do, right? Uh, what would you do when you still winning? then you hold it, right? You hold the position. So, and this is also the definition of the uptrend or buy biased market in Ichimoku. Because buyers are dominant and buyers are winning now. But when you see Chikospan interact with these candles, when you see Chikospan overlaps with these candles, this means that the buyers for the last 26, 26 um, um, uh, days ago or 26 candles ago are break even now they're break even because um, exactly it's going to be here so um, yeah they are almost break even or a little bit of profit so they are still their uh, psychology is still whether they hold buy or not or they whether they hold the sell or not right they're kind of uh, psychologically struggling so that's the definition of the range. So when you see when you see the um, the Chikou span is overlapping with these candles, that means that simply means the buyers and sellers are still uh, fighting with each other for the last twenty six candles, candlestick uh, time, uh, candlestick days. So currently, the Chikou span is above the candles. So, the buyers, right, whoever bought 
for the last 26 bars are still winning now, right? Still winning, and that's why it corresponds above the candle. But let's say the price starts to consolidate, the price is consolidate, and then it span will be um, getting close to the candles. So, so that you know uh, from here, between uh, this time, exactly when Chikospan touches on the candle, exactly here, um, until you know, uh, 26 uh, days before, they are still, uh, they're not really winning the profit, nor they're losing. So these people are break even. So that's the definition of the range, and that's the meaning of Chikospan touches on these candles. So, what happens if that Chikospan breaks these candles downwards? Right, what happens? Then, these buyers will be um, exiting, right? Uh, there are buyers and sellers here, but uh, uh, the buyers, when Chikospan breaks the candle downwards, then buyers start to exit the positions. Sellers may have, um, you know, keep holding that sell. Buyers will be setting off, right? They will, they will be exiting, and that's the meaning of the Chikospan breakout, simply. So you can expect the price touches on the Kumo and goes downwards this way. And that's why Chikospan breakout means it might be a beginning of the downtrend or uptrend from that point. So it just shifted 26 candles backwards, but um, this is very powerful. Chikospan breakout is very powerful, as you can see. So, yeah, so this is the backbone of Ichimoku, and I just wanted to do some recap today on this basic concept so that the, uh, you can uh, build up your knowledge on top of that. And I have talked about this uh, Ichimoku basic concept on these videos. So when you come to my uh, page here, and when you scroll down all the way, and there are videos where I talk about the Ichimoku basic lectures below here. So you can uh, click on these videos and enjoy the essence of Ichimoku 5 lines. And also I talk about the price theory and uh, wave theory and also uh, time theories too. So you can enjoy these videos. Uh, but I just want to introduce a concept, the main concept of Ichimoku here. So um, with that being said, right, let me let's start to look at the market from now. So first um, let's take a look at the um, Hold on, let's see that what will be interesting. Euro JPY, I think this is also interesting. Uh, it's been quite strong uptrend right now. On the daily chart, right, the price is simply above the candlesticks. Uh, sorry, the price is still above these four lines and Chikospan above the candles too. So we can instantly know that this is uptrend, bullish, buyers are dominant at a glance. Right, it's convenient. And when you look at the other pair, um, this um, GBPUSD, you can also see that the price is above the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, and Senko Span B, and Chiko Span above the candles. So this is also bullish, right? Buyers are still dominant on this market on daily basis. So we can, a la glance, know that this is uh, uptrend, right? So simple, so simple. So it's either uptrend downtrend or range okay and this is just the simple simple concept of uh, Ichimoku here so we can just go on right CADJPY daily chart right we can still see that the price above the Senko Span B and Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen so uptrend but when you look at the Chiko Span Chiko Span has been overlapping with these candles so until Chiko Span breaks upwards Right, and typically this is called a Chikospan breakout, but when you see Chikospan breaks the recent high upwards, then what happens is that the um, the buyers 
why buyers here will be holding the buy, but the sellers, the sellers in this range will be exiting when you see when they see the breakout uh, of the recent high uppers. And that's why when you see the Chikospan breakout towards the upside, you can expect the next uh, uptrend potentially, the next bullish market potentially. So right now, although the buyers is still dominant technically because the price is above Tenkan Kijun and Senkospan B, I would recommend you to wait until Chikospan breakout happens so that you can confirm that now the buyers are dominant in that market. Okay. So let me take a look at uh, one more pair and I will come back to your comments now. So let's see which one to pick. Um, I covered AUD USD. So let's take a look at the uh, GBP USD. Um, I think I've covered this one. GBP JPY. Well, actually, this is also uptrend, right? It's it's so clear that the price is above the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, and the Senkou Span B, and Chikou Span above the candles. So this is simply uptrend. So we can see that there is a recent high uh, on this uh, 5th of June, and the 6th of June there is there was a recent high here. So the price might be resisted in this area and may retrace backwards. But as long as the price above Tenkan Sen, this is bullish. So the price might be supported by the Tenkan Sen and goes up this way. Okay. And I would say it's still safe to to uh, look for the buy chance until the price breaks that uh, Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen downwards. So Tenkan Sen bounce, it can be expected, and Kijun Sen bounce, it can also be expected. But when the price really breaks the Kijun Sen downwards and goes between Kijun Sen and Kumo, then you don't want to look for the buy chance anymore because it might go down, it might touch the Kumo, and it might break through the Kumo downwards. But as long as the price above Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, um, yeah, that will be still buy bias in long to mid term. So still okay. I mean, still. Uh, the price can potentially be moving up. And in this range, right, uh, this is ascending triangle. As you can see, the, the lows are getting higher. You can see the lows are getting higher and the high remains the same. So this is typical P wave ascending triangle. So from this uh, chart pattern, we can see that the buyers are so dominant than the sellers. So we can also expect the price to go up this way eventually. All right, so let's come back to some of the comments now. All right. Oh, Hapa, thank you for your super chat. Stay gold, thank you. Amazing class K, keep the hard work, sure. I will keep it up, thank you, stay gold. All right, uh, so let's see what kind of uh, comments and questions we have. All right, thank you for joining everyone. Thank you. Yep. So there will be a Ichimoku membership live afterwards. So I won't call everybody's name, but I do see your comments and I do see your names. So thank you for joining everyone. Good to see you. All right. All right, if uh, Ichimoku on a daily chart, four hour chart is strong buy, but in one or half a uh, flat Kumo and flat uh, and flat Kumo and Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen in one hour forms double top pattern too. Will you take sell position? What will you do? I'm really confused. So, if you switch the time frames, you might be confused. So you better stick with the daily chart, right? First, you stick with the daily chart, and as long as the daily chart candlestick is above the Tenkan Sen, this is buyer's dominant market. So. Yeah, and uh, Ichimoku Kinko Hyo was originally created in the um, the mid and early to mid uh, 90s century in Japan, and at that time, right, there is no PC, right? There is no PC, so Goichi Hosoda was actually um, looking at the chart, taking all these prices of uh, high price, highest price, lowest price, and close price, start price of the day, 
and he actually marked all these uh, four four numbers every day on a certain um, certain indexes and in stock markets and commodities. So originally Ichimoku was created by the daily chart, so I recommend to you to stick with the daily chart first before switching around the time frames. Yeah, because we have a PC now, right? So we're so used to switching around these time frames. So let's say like a daily chart is uptrend, but one hour chart is um oh yeah, this is also up, but you know. When when we switch time frames, we might see something different. Oh looks like this is all uptrend, fortunately. <laughs> yeah, so maybe this is not really a good example. But uh, yeah, let's say this weekly chart, right? Weekly chart shows that this is flat ranging. The Kumo is still below the Senko Span B here, the upper Kumo. Um, yeah, sorry, this is not the uh, Senko Span B, Senko Span A. But uh, yeah, the, technically the price is in the Kumo now still. So we can still see that the price is ranging. But um, so, if you switch the time frames, you might see see differently. So I recommend you to stick to the daily chart first until you master Ichimoku. <clears throat> yeah. All right. All right, Sandra. I hope. Uh, yeah. You look at the daily chart. And. So you look at the daily chart, and you take Ichimoku Kinko Hyo for your analysis. But um, for the analysis below daily chart, I recommend you to uh, look, take other indicators or price action lines. Right? I recommend you to um, delete the Ichimoku and switch it to other indicators and tools because it might confuse you. All right, Aditya K. Hope the time theory book is coming along well. Uh, coming along well. Looking forward to uh, looking forward to it eagerly. Sure, sure. Yeah, so I'm writing the chapter four now of the next book. So hopefully, it's gonna it's gonna come by the end of September. Yeah. All right. Good to see you, everyone. Thank you for joining. All right, Jack Smith. What is the difference between KTS and GTS? Oh, okay. So KTS is my own technique. So KTS, when you come to this uh, my homepage, KTS you can find it here, free download, and there is a KTS. So KTS is my own strategy, and that is case trading strategy, and that's KTS. So I use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. I use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, but uh, when it comes to taking trades, when it comes to placing buy or sell positions in lower time frames, I don't use Ichimoku only. I use other confirmations, other indicators and tools to catch these trading edges. And this is KTS. This is part of KTS. And GTS is, uh, just I showed it to you before, GTS is uh, one of my service, one of my services that actually teaches the trading techniques hands-on, and also uh, the money management, and also the uh, mental and lot sizing calculators. So that's the GTS. So GTS is Global Trading School, and KTS is Case Trading Strategy. Yeah, so that's the difference, all right? Okay. Thanks for the analysis on the Aussie dollar. Uh, it's what I've been trading recently too. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, Aussie dollar, both ones are quite active recently. So yeah, that's on my watch list definitely. Sandar, Elliott Wave is very confusing. One keeps changing the count and it gets too much complicated. Um, yeah, yeah. I stick to wave analysis on Ichimoku. N wave, V wave, and I wave. And there are a couple of other waves like P wave, and Y wave, and S wave, M wave, and W waves, and so on and on. But the concept, basic concept is actually N wave. 
and I wave and V wave only. All the other will be the combination of these three waves. So, if I talk about the wave theory a little bit, so here right now we see that this is the um, uh, this is N wave in the short term. From here, the price has been going up. So this is N wave simply, right? This, these are consecutive N waves, and this is the definition of uptrend. Like I said. Uh, in, the, in the beginning, and the lows higher, highs higher too. So this is uptrend. But before, this was reversed in wave. It was reversed in wave because the highs are getting lower now at that time. So this was reversed in wave. But exactly from this candlestick on this uh, 20, 22nd of uh, June, on this uh, GBPJPY, it became uptrend. It turned to be uptrend. And before that, this was N wave. It was N wave and it went all the way up here. So N, the pattern N is actually the uh, basic um, Ichimoku wave. And also you might see uh, I wave and V wave in other occasions. Alright, so let's see. No more notifications on the lives? Oh really? Oh, um, actually, I have. Uh, I think it should be notified um, automatically. So, yeah, make sure you subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I announce the live. Yeah, otherwise, it should be some technical issue on YouTube side. All right. All right, and let's see. Trading view tip: You can use the shift to drag the ruler. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, all right. I will I will do that later. <laughs> all right. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, I'm still kind of new to a trading view, so yeah, I'm still learning. I'm still newbie on this trading view. So thank you for the tips, everyone. <laughs> yeah, Dow thirty. Okay, Dow thirty uh, is currently up, right? Yeah, it broke the triangle P wave upwards. So looks like this is up. And by using the Ichimoku 5 lines, this is buy biased simply because the price is above Tenkan Kijun and the Senko Span B. Chiko Span is above the candles also. So this is up bullish in the daily chart. All right, natural gas, I don't uh, look at it. I, it's not on the watch list. So. Uh, moving on to the next one. Can you check out the Fort's Q medals? Um, yeah, I, I don't look at that one either. Let me stick to the pairs or commodities and indexes on my watch list right now. Yeah, because I don't have enough time. I mean, uh, there will be a Ichimoku membership live in about 20 minutes. So. Let me just stick to these uh, pairs and commodities and indexes that are on my watch list now. All right, be happy. Hello, Kay. Nice to see you again. And I want to ask you where is the best timing for entry? How can I make the best setup in the pairs? So first, you capture the trend, right? You capture the trend. And once you capture the trend, then you confirm it in middle time frames, which are 1 or 30. In my KTS strategy, and then you execute buy or sell in lower time frames, which are 5 or 15, so that your stop loss can be as tight as possible. But once you follow the trend in the bigger time frame, higher time frames, it can last longer. So, if you are interested in uh, the practical way of taking trades, you can come to my website. And just um, just come to the home page, scroll down, and check the KTS trading strategy playlist here. I explain all these in this playlist. All right, all right. Thank you for joining from Vietnam, Mr. Tell. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. All right. Today is a Nifty analysis day. All right. So yeah, let me wrap up the analysis with Nifty now. Because I will be touching on a little bit on the time cycle theories today. 
So Nifty looks quite interesting right now. This is uptrend, right? The price is above the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, and the Kumo, Chikou Span above the candles. So this is Nifty, right? And the price is going up right now. The price once broke this um, support line downwards, the yellow one, support line downwards, but now this is going up. So speaking of, speaking of the time cycles, and this this applies to uh, any market, right? So you can uh, check these time cycles in your uh, pairs of commodities on your watch list. But when you count time cycles, the easiest way, the easiest way to catch the next potential pushback or target will be counting between the lows or between the highs. So in this case, I count the candles between the lows. So from this low of uh, 12th of June. The next high, uh, sorry, the next low, the next swing low was actually made uh, 29th of June this year. So this was exactly 12 bars, right? This was exactly 12 bars. So once again, when you count the candles, make sure to include the current one was as one. So you have to shift one backwards and then you start counting from here. You start counting from here all the way to the target date. So this was exactly 12 bars between the low to the next low, including uh, existing candle. Okay, so it was a 12 bars. Hold on, let me put the vertical line again. All right, so yeah, it was a uh, 12 bars, and then from this low to the next low, there was another 12 bars. Right, there was another 12 bars was actually marked on the 14th of July, and I was, you know, giving some analysis a couple of days ago, and I was expecting the price will be marked the risk uh, the next low, the next swing low, on this date, uh, 31st of July. So, um, so actually the low, as you can see, it was marked on this uh, 3rd of August. So just one, one candlestick difference, and this was on, I think, Friday, and the 3rd of August was on Monday. So there was only one candle difference, but you can see how beautifully the next low was marked here. So in this case, this was not exactly the 13th bar in between, but this was actually the 14th bar. So I put the 14 bars here, so I will just delete this 12. So 12 bars from low to low, and 12 bars from low to the next low, and now 14 bars from this low to the next low now. Okay, so what we can find and what we can expect is that uh, from this low to the next low, there might be uh, uh, there might be a 12 to 14 bars in the, to the future from this low on this uh, 3rd of August. Right, so if I if I take the measurement tool and um, if I drag from here to 12 bars to the future, that will be 18th of August. Right, 18th of August, that might be a the next low. So the market goes up and it retraces backwards, and the retracement that might happen for the couple of couple of uh, days until it reaches to this uh, 18th bar, uh, 18th of August. So I recommend you to um, I recommend you not to not to buy in these couple of days, couple of two or three days before before this uh, 18th of August because there might be some retracement backwards. So this is uh, uh, one of the time uh, future future day that potentially creates the next low, and then uh, the 14th bars, 14th days next, will be here, 12th, uh, 20th of August. So on the 20th of August might be the next low. So uh, my expectation is that the uh, between between the 18th of August and and 12, 20th of August, there might be the next low. So we'll see, we'll see on that. But as long as this is going up, I mean, as long as the price above the Tenkan Sen 
and above the Kijun Sen, this is bullish. Right, this is bullish. So we can expect this kind of move to the future. So right now, technically, the Tenkan Sen is um, the price is above Tenkan Sen. So yeah, for the last couple of days, the price broke the Tenkan Sen downwards, but now it became above the Tenkan Sen. And Kijun Sen's moving up, and Kuma moving up, and Chikou Span above the candles. So we can expect the next low might be created between the 18th of August and 20th of August. And this is the time theory. Right? This is the time theory of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. Okay, alright. So we'll see. I will keep these lines and uh, I will talk about, um, yeah, I will, I will touch on this Nifty uh, sometime, uh, yeah, this week or next week. Alright, so let's keep our eyes on this time cycle of these lows to the future. Alright. Hi Sam, thank you for uh, joining on this uh, Ichimoku community. Stay gold, Sam. So make sure you click on the community tab, community tab on YouTube, and you can find the link to join the Discord. So I will be waiting. Yeah, I will be waiting for. Uh, to join the Discord and also the membership live. All right, but once again, thank you for joining, Doctor uh, Mr. Tam, and stay gold. All right, all right. So let's see. So I think, uh, yeah, I will be ending the live in about uh, two or three minutes now, because uh, I will be shifting to the Ichimoku membership. So yeah, when whenever pairs or whichever pairs or whichever commodity or stock markets you look at. You can just, you know, count the lows or count the highs in between. And when you see the time cycle, then you put these vertical lines, right? So, um, and it can be any numbers, right? It can be one of the Kihon Suchi numbers. So 9, uh, 17, 26, or 33 might be the from, from uh, between these swing highs and swing lows. But it can be any numbers like this. It can be like 12 bars or 14 bars. But the point is, you find the similar uh, number of candlesticks between the lows or between the highs. So that you can expect the next target or next uh, retracement, right? Next pushback on this day. Okay, so I think I will take out this um, support line because this is not working anymore. And I would probably draw the line by connecting these two two lows or three lows here. So let's see if the price will be reacted by this support line also. All right. So thank you for joining everyone once again. Or oh, where the link for Ichimoku? Membership. Oh, you should find the join button on your YouTube platform. So when you come to, yeah, when you click on services in Ichimoku community, then you will you find a page like this, and I have created the old guidance of uh, how you can join and what you, you what you can expect in this Ichimoku community. So yeah. You can uh, come to this page and read through all the instructions, and so you can find. So you can click on the join button, like this one, and you can join this one. And also, um, after you join, I uh, try to find the post like this, and you must be, you must be able to find the link to join the Discord here. All right. So once again, thank you for joining, everyone. So tomorrow, what's coming up tomorrow will be on this one, All right? So tomorrow will be a Friday. So the seventh of uh, August tomorrow, I will talk about KTS trading edges by Harami and Tutsumi and engulfing candlesticks. So. Yeah, if you can join tomorrow's live, um, hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Otherwise, I will see you on the next one. And for those who are members of Ichimoku community, 
I will see you in shortly. All right, so stay gold, everyone, and have a good one. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.